In this video, we're going to be doing a performance review of these, the very nice looking Hyperion Max. What is up everybody and welcome back to 40 Runs. Now, did you grab a pair of these? Yes? No? If you did, let me know in the comments how you've been getting on with them. What have you found? How you've been feeling? Where you've been using them? And all that kind of stuff. Let me know in the comments because this video is about how I've been getting on with them. And so I'll be diving into the comments when the video drops uh, and we can have a chat about it down there. But yeah, I wanted to report back how I've been getting on with the Hyperion Max. We've had it uh, a little while now um, since we did the previous for, um, previous video. I can't even remember how long ago that was now. But yeah, so I thought it would be a good time to catch up with the shoe. So let's get stuck in. Okay, right, so firstly, I think this is still an amazing looking shoe. I really do think it just looks great, and I really hope uh, Brooks stick to this sort of line of styling. I just think it just looks great, even as a silhouette. I think it looks pretty awesome. Uh, apologies for not doing the laces. I can't be bothered to do laces anymore on my shoes. Um, but yeah, I just think it looks great. Uh, and if it was looks alone, this would probably be one of the better daily trainers of the year, I think. I think it's an absolute corker in terms of looks. I think the shoe does benefit in this colourway, I would say, versus uh, some of the other colourways. But even in the black and yellow, I think it looks awesome. But more importantly, how has it been performing? So I've really been dragging this shoe out on club nights and those sort of sessions. Um, but I tell you what, let's just quickly remind you of some of the stats and features before we get into how it's been getting on. So as a reminder, this is a non-plated up-tempo daily trainer. It's that sort of lightweight daily trainer. Uh, we'll weigh it in just a second. We've got, for memory, a 6 mil drop. Actually, no, 8 mil drop. 34 mil in the st uh, stack height in the heel. We've got this DNA flash, uh, nitrogen-infused DNA flash, full length, but no plate. Um, we've got this really nice, breathable upper. Fits true to size, 160 pounds. But let's do the weight one sec. 226 grams in my UK nine and a half, and like I said, I think a minute ago, it fits true to size. Uh, what else do you need to know? I think that's probably about it. I think, I, th um, I think the biggest thing is the fact it doesn't have a plate and it's a, an up tempo, lightweight daily trainer. Okay, yeah, so like I was saying before we go into stats and features, uh, Club Night's really been where I've been using it, and those sort of Lunchtime runs when I want to put my foot down a little bit. Uh, I don't know whether you saw the comparison video we did um, of the three shoes and I picked the Sketches out of those. I think it's very much still the case that the Sketches for me, it's just got that little bit of secret sauce in it. It's a little bit, it's probably, a, it, uh, did I say, yeah, it's a little bit unfair still to compare it marginally to the Sketches, better way of saying it, because that does have that um, sort of training carbon infused plate in it uh, where this has no form of plating at all in it but it is very rockered so it maybe is a little bit unfair to compare it against the sketches but for me the sketches just has that little secret sauce um, with the hyperburst pro and it's a little bit softer than this that said um, I have been using this for those club sessions I have been using it on those like four mile lunchtime runs and stuff like that if I just wanted to get out there, get a bit of goal pace through the legs, or you know, even a little bit quicker than that, it's worked out just fine. I like the fact that it's light, like the fact that it's 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 able to do exactly what you want from a, a lightweight up tempo daily trainer, which is step on it. Um, you do get that nice roll, you do get a nice transition, but it, it's it's still it's still quite firm, um, which again maybe to your liking, but for me it's it's still pulling on those calf muscles. Um, and again, that's probably why I tend to go back to the sketches. It's just, the sketches are just that little bit more, yeah, I don't know, just got that little bit more awesomeness around it. The the Max is, 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 is definitely, uh, it's definitely, for me, an improved shoe versus the Tempo, which is a strong statement because the Hyperion Tempo is a really good shoe, right? But I just like that extra little bit that it does give me. But there's so much more now coming from other shoes where when the Tempo came out, there wasn't. I do struggle to see why you'd want this at £160 when some of the other shoes, like I mentioned in that video just alone, you know, the Rebel 3, which you can get up for under £100, or the Sketches, which is $140. There's, there's so many shoes that you can get that probably do, do what this does, but slightly better and slightly cheaper. So it's, yeah, it, I don't know. It's a funny one, this one, because I really want to like it because I really like the look of it. And I really want to like it because um, 
when it's on foot, it's doing exactly what you want to do. But it does lack that that spark. It does lack that that uh, yeah that that bit of awesomeness to to make you want to drag it out of the garage every time to go and run. Um, there's just some better shoes out there at the moment. I think that that just do it better. I go back to my default position. 160 pounds. Why would you just not buy the Socken Endorphin Speed Three? Although that's got a plate in it, and I'm trying to look at shoes that don't have a plate in it. You've got the new Convara, which some people really like, so um, that could be a way forward instead. If you want to go more this traditional, non-plated, sort of firmer ride uh, of, a, of an up-tempo shoe, you know, I just, I don't know, there's other shoes. I, I you know, I'd probably go, <laughs> it's, it's, the Takumi Sen, again, I'm, I'm, I'm bad here because that's got rods in it, but the Takumi Sen, it's probably a better shoe to, in terms of feeling, and that's a, and that's an up tempo more sort of race day shoe, five k shoe. But the, the feelings are similar uh, in terms of, you know, where I would use them. Um, so again, I'd probably go there and spend and get the Takumi Takumi Sen Eight, which you can get really cheap instead of the nine because there's not much difference, um, and, and and go that way. Do you see what I mean? So I don't know that I, I'm just struggling to see why. Why you need the, the Hyperion Max? If you're a Brooks fan, then I get it. Maybe you know that does complement your Ghost. If you want something a little bit more lightweight, a little bit more up tempo to go alongside your Ghost, which is going to do your daily and uh, maybe even some of your longer miles, I get it. That could make sense. Or you want a sort of I don't know quickish part run shoe, maybe. But 160 pounds, it's a bit of a stretch. So can you see what I mean? I'm, I'm sort of I'm in an R in here. I've not got a clear answer for you. Have I enjoyed the shoe? Yes. Um, my calves haven't, but have I enjoyed the shoe? Yes. Do I think it looks awesome? Yes. Is it built well? Yes. Is it good value? £160. Probably not. Um, but would I recommend it? Maybe, maybe not. And that's the thing. So I don't think I've helped, but I wanted to report back. It's not a bad shoe. Don't dislike it. But yeah, I just, just think there's better out there.